Hey everybody, it's Doug here, Doug Mystic Eye on Board Game Geek. Uh, thank you for joining me again for our next round, uh, tur or actually episode four of our playthrough of Castaways, um, the semi cooperative adventure of trying to get off an island that is just mistreating us badly. But anyway, uh, I want to get started. However, I do need to talk about some corrections. So I'm going to go to the board and we're going to talk through those. So one of the things I love about doing these video series is I get to learn more about the games I play. Um, because sometimes, oh, often enough, I guess, I get things wrong. And it's great to have people out there that can show me what I'm doing wrong. And I had a whole bunch of cards that had things like this tortoise card, giant tortoise card. And I, I didn't really notice this before, but I have now. I, I guess that mentally... I was kind of mixing this with Robinson Crusoe, which is a similar style, well, similar themed game, not similar style game, but there's, they have you know, food that spoils and food that's not, not perishable, etc. So is this game in a way, but you have food tokens which don't perish, then you have counters which the food does perish, but you also have this. So I want to go over this just quickly with you. See the, the food in the black box, the forge tile? Well, that means we should have been taking that food in this card and several others by the way and putting it in the forge box however that's all that said uh, we did not do that so um, I, w what I don't want to do is backtrack and go all go along and try and re rewind and do redo everything we did so we're going to continue on I've given myself enough disadvantages in the game through bad luck and other things that I don't think it's going to make a huge critical difference but uh, we're going to keep going so that's about corrections. Now, I want to say one more thing. If you haven't, if you, okay, so first off, I hope that you are a member of Board Game Geek. It's a great forum, great place to go. Um, lots of great information there on board games, not just for, for the enthusiasts, but for anybody that just wants to know something about a game. Heck, every board game from Monopoly to Tiddlywinks is probably on that site, and all the board games that have been developed in between throughout the years. Now, that, that said, we have a guild there. A guild is basically like a forum group but more robust, uh, called Tube Tables. And basically that's the forum group that myself and other people who create videos and people who like to watch videos like this uh, frequent. I, I highly recommend you go there and, and check it out because I have a lot of uh, people that inspired me to do this that are on that channel. So there's Tragic and Ricky Royal who does Box of Delights and Marco and... Um, and joysticks, which Marcus, he's great too. Lots of great stuff there. I'm not mentioning them all, so if I missed you, I apologize. Uh, but there's there's a bunch there, and uh, they have playthroughs like this. They do reviews, etc. Mainly, this group tends to be more about doing the playthroughs uh, than the reviews. But still, great stuff there. So I wanted to mention that before we started. Anyway, let's get on with our next turn. So first off, I want want to say that we are going to be taking. Anne Alexander's turn first. She is the first player. But before we do that, we have to draw a, an event card. So we're going to do that immediately now. Okay, so drawing our first event card for this session, you can see that, okay, this isn't good for us because this sunshine symbol means that we're going into scorching hot weather. And uh, it's, you can see it here on the table. We're going to have to push this up one. You can see that in doing so, it does take away one of our energy. Now, the good news is is that all but the doctor was completely full of energy. Well, at least had six. So we got the doctor at four, uh, Ann Alexander at five, and Alexander Silkirk at five. So that didn't do too bad. Now, the next thing we look at is, again, and we've talked about these cards before, but we look at this symbol here. And what that means is if there was a fourth cube, one here, we, one would wash up on shore, but there is not. So nothing washes up on shore for us to salvage. Then it says, this turn, injuries become, basically the name of this card is wooden, wounds that don't heal. This is just fantastic because our doctor does have a trauma. This turn, injuries become traumas if you roll a one or two. Well, good thing is nobody currently has injuries. So I'm going to leave that out in front of me so I don't forget it. Now we're going to get on to Anne's uh, first move, which is her camp action. So for Anne, the camp action oftentimes is going to be a no-brainer. Because she's a fisher and gets to draw two fish tiles, she's going to go there. Because one thing we definitely need to do is eat. But we can't eat when we draw nothing but zeros, which we've drawn more of than anything else. And a one. So, so far we've got two total food in our bank. We have one that's uh, not perishable already in there. And then one more. So we're definitely going to have to get some find ways to get more food this turn. And it's probably going to be through... Um, 
exploring the island. But let's go back to the main board and start to take our main actions. So, what we have is Anne's first action of the turn. Now, uh, it wouldn't hurt us to build our next level of shelter. It's going to cost four energy, though. Um, what she can do, it's just going to leave her a little shy. She is at five now, so she'll be down to one. And then perhaps um, if we rest after that, we might be able to do better. So I think, but then her, both of her actions will be in the camp. However, I still think that's a wise idea because we have enough food to fuel our fire. So you actually should take one of these now and just put it on the fire just to keep track of that. So we're going to do, she's going to do that. And that's going to put her down to one energy for the turn. Quite a bit to build this shelter. Uh, and then when it's her turn to take the action, we'll remove the food, or the, the wood rather, and build our next shelter. So, um, Alexander Selkirk thinks that it might not be a bad idea at all to finish up getting the rest of, uh, getting some more wood, because we will need it. That will put him at four energy. The doctor, who is still doing okay, he says, well, guys, I hate to be a, a booger, but we have to initiate a trip on the island. So, he's going there and spending one energy to initiate um, a camp, uh, a uh, exploration action. And says, well, I was going to rest, but I don't want to miss out on this action. That would not be cool. However, she's only got one energy. That's a bad scenario for her. It could result in injuries. She's saying, well, darn it, I'm going to have to miss out on this exploration. And I'm going to pick the rest action post building the shelter. Which would make sense if you spent all day by yourself building a shelter because no one else was willing to help you. Okay, now, um, Alexander Selkirk says, well, I'm going to have to go with you, Doctor. That's all there is to it. He goes on the exploration of the journey, and the Doctor's second action will be to... Well, we don't have anything to forge right now. Uh, he's what he's going to do, just to play it safe, he's going to take a action on the main board, on the camp tiles. So that is, oh, he can't take, no, well, he can't get one food, though. Okay, um, that's going to be our actions for the turn. Now let's go to our resolution phase. I want to make sure that you can see the entire board when we take these. So we're going to take this, this uh, first action, and we're going to put it up here to receive, he took a camp action to receive one wood, and that goes on the uh, good doctor, who now has a piece of food, and we have enough food to feed ourselves for this turn, assuming we don't get lost somewhere. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is Alexander Selkirk is going to take his first action, which is to gather a piece of wood, which also then takes one off of the fallen tree. We only have one extra piece of wood there, but that has been really helpful in us getting a ton of wood. Okay, then the next thing that happens is Anne is going to build the shelter. So, we need to spend, for the shelter, as you can see, we need to spend two wood, and she already spent the energy, and a rope, which we happen to have in our storage. We have two wood and a rope. So we have spent that, and that gives us our next super shelter actually starting to look like a house. Pretty cool. Okay, and that's going to go there. Uh, the next thing we do is we take our exploration on the island, but this time only two of them are going, so that's going to change our scenario a little bit. And, unfortunately, the one with the compass and did not go. But um, Alex does have his machete, which he was, of course, going to, to use. He doesn't pay any energy, so I should actually put him back up to five. His machete keeps him from doing so. Um, now, the doctor says, no, nah, I'm not going to give you another energy to give me a story point, so we're just going to keep that. And we're going to go on to our island and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay. So, the doctor does his first exploration says, words, words that move, I write this journal, hoping that someone will, do, let me make sure you got that next shot, no you don't, okay, there we go, I write this journal, hoping that someone will drive some benefit fr from it, if I die, let them know that I went down fighting, keep this card, discard in order to retrieve an extra story point, the next time you take a diary action, okay, so that goes to the doctor, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't allow us to move on the island or penalize us in any way. Oh, keep in mind, this is now at four. So he gets that item. Now, what do we get next? A pit of quicksand. 
this was, I think this was something, yeah, 17. Something else caused us to put this quid, a pit of quicksand in there. I don't remember what it was. I think it was a, a marsh or something like that. An enormous pit of quicksand blocks our way. Explorers may avoid it. Minus one space on the exploration track. Wait across each, wait across each explorer rolls die and spends an energy. On a one or two, he sinks into the pit. If all explorers cross, they advance the space, the exploration track. Each player in the pit may try to free himself as many times as he wants. Um, if the explorers, if the explorer group pays one energy, the the player rolls a die, five or six, he gets out, and takes a story point. Well, we're going to try and cross. So let's go to the dice bowl and see. Oh, by the way, this does first. If you see this symbol right here, it does first increase our chances of getting back or decrease our chances of getting back by one. Okay, here we are. So what we're trying not to do is sink. So uh, the first person to go across, this was actually Alexander Selkirk's card. So he's going to roll first. And he rolled a six, so he got by just fine. Um, so basically we waited across. We did not roll a one or two. Okay. So there's no trap player there. He's fine. Um, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So one or two, each player in the pit may try to get free as many times as they want. Nope, the player... Okay, so that's it. So he's fine. Okay, then the doctor must do the same thing. Of course, he sank into the pit. <laughs> Good old doctor. Now, they did both have to pay an energy to do this, so I'm going to track that. The doctor's down to two, and Alexander's down to four. Um, and says, that's what you get for trying to go on without me, punks. Okay, now it says... Each player in the pit may try to get free as many times as he wants uh, if the exploration group pays one energy. Well, actually, Alex says, I'm going to pay one energy for you. The player rolls then, yeah, to try and get you out because we need to keep moving and he has more energy. So, the doctor has to roll a 5 or a 6. He does not. Okay, if there are trap players, add this card pending to pending explorations along with their action meeples. When someone activates this card in the next exploration phase. Trap players will join the group. I don't like that at all, so we're going to have to keep trying. Okay, the doctor is going to spend an energy. That puts him down to one. Uh, no. Okay. Alex says he'll spend another energy, and that puts him down to two. This might be a very short exploration. No. Okay, Alex has one more energy. Man, we're about to have to leave the doctor behind. How terrible would that be? Oh, six. Okay, but we are down to one energy each before we overcame this card. So no one's trapped. So anyway, we, we did get out and cross the pit, though we didn't advance any. Sorry about that. Let us go back now to the island and continue on our trek. So we still have a decent chance of getting back. It's a five or more on two six-sided dice. So, however, the problem is if we do get lost, we, only have, we, can't, we can spend one energy and then we're hosed. So we'll be going into an area where we start to get uh, damaged. So, it might behoove us, as sad as it may seem, it might behoove us to go back now. Because we don't have any energy, and we're going to need to eat and use the fire to gain some. So, I believe that that is what we're going to do. So, unfortunately, a short-lived exploration that resulted in nothing fruitful. Again, by the way, we've had this happen before. Uh, so, I'm going to go to the, the bowl, and we're going to roll to see if we can find our way back. So, you know, I don't mind randomness in games. I like games like A Touch of Evil and... Other dice chucking games, you saw my big, maybe you saw it, I hope you did, my big video on Run, Fight, and Die. I love that game. It was a dice chucking game. But this one seems to just beat you up, and uh, not much you can do about that. So anyway, we got to roll a five or better on two six-sided dice. <sighs> See? Exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so we're going to spend our last point of energy from both guys, because we have to spend it from both guys to uh, get another re a roll on that and see if we can do better. Okay, so the second one... Man, we returned to camp, beat up, worse for wear, with nothing to show for it. And that's what I'm talking about, with the randomness. So, while I do, I've played this game before, it hasn't been this bad. This one's been really brutal. And I don't know if I like that or not. This isn't, that's not as fun. It's more frustrating than fun. But, you know, I, I, we're telling an interesting story, to say the least. We tried to get out on the island, we fell in some quicksand... It took us forever to get out. We were exhausted, went back to camp, got a little lost, took us some more time. There's a story there, which makes it cool. But let's go back to the main board and finish up our round. Okay, so we're going to take our exploration markers off, 
um, Anne laughs at them, says, ha, 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 you guys, you went out there without me, and that's what you get. So, but Anne does get to rest now. Her last action was to rest at the hut there. She has no injuries, but uh, she does get to roll for additional energy. With the shelter build up, built up to where it is, she's going to get three energy, but she can get four if she rolls a four, five, or six. So five, so she got four energy back. That is outstanding. So she's actually going to be able to do something next to her. Maybe she'll go explore on her own, but she's, she does have now, um, yeah, five energy total, and she, her pawn comes out, off the board, and that ends our round. Um, now, what we have to do first is, there's nobody lost, so we're fine there, but we do have to eat, so we're going to take this token, a fish token, turn it into to one food, uh, which, so um, Charles Bernard has a piece of food, he's going to eat it. Uh, Anne has a piece of food, and Alex has a piece of food. So with that, they each gain a point of energy, so Anne is actually full. Um, then we go to our campfire. Our campfire is lit and running, which is awesome. So we're going to consume the wood that's on it. Now we still have wood left to put on the fire. And that is going to increase the doctor and Alexander to two points of energy. And and uh, is already full. So that basically ends our round. Now we just do our, our cleanup. We pass the, there's really nothing more to do here. We pass the uh, first player marker in camp action to Alexander Selkirk. And we continue on. Okay, so... As always, the first thing that we do is we draw our event card. So, what is that event? Rough Seas. Okay, this is actually not a bad thing for us because we would have lost another point of energy with this, but our weather improved, so it went down. Now, again, we needed to, uh, we only have three pieces of salvage left, so nothing washed up on shore. And we get to remove one cube of the remains from the game. That sucks. Okay, so one of our three salvage cubes goes away. That's a bummer, but it is what it is. And then we get to take, Alexander gets to take his camp action because that ended everything on that card for what we would use it for now. So Alex says, well, we're back to needing some food again, aren't we, people? So, um, you know, he's going to, you know, I don't think he's going to take a fish token because if he does, then, um, then and can't go there and fish with one of her actions and she's full. I think what he's going to do is we can, you know, he can receive uh, plus three energy for an injury. Okay. Oh, now that energy can take him over his maximum. I don't know if he wants to do that either. I think what he's going to do is he's going to go on that spot right there. You can see it on this camera so I don't, didn't move it and he's going to take a food for himself so we know we only have to worry about two food for the round. Now we're going to get to the main board and take our actions. Okay, so Alex is first up and wisely the first thing he's going to do is rest because he needs to. Uh, doctor says, good idea, doing the same exact thing. Okay, uh, Anne says, well I could rest too but I don't need to. So I'm going to take a camp action. She's going to do it up here and go to the camp. I think you can do it that way. I don't know if it matters. I um, guess it would matter in order of play. Uh, Alex says, uh, you know, um, that's probably, that's going to give me three energy. That might be enough. I'm going to initiate a camp action and because of my machete, it's not going to cost anything. Doctor says, cool man, I think I should be okay by then too. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, you know what we didn't do last turn? Before I do that, uh, I did need to roll for the Charles Bernard. He doesn't have an injury, but he does have a trauma, and he can try and remove that. So, um, you know what? Uh, I won't worry about that right now. We'll, we'll cross that bridge again. I'll just roll twice when the end of the turn comes around and see if he can get it. So, um, then Anne says, I'm not being left out this time, and she goes to... Now, um, again, they, the doctor and Anne did have to pay an energy, but they're going to give um, Alex a story point, a random story point. Let's Okay, I've got a random story point. Uh, Alex now has two to recover that energy because uh, the doctor especially didn't want to lose it. And that, again, that has to do with the use of the machete on the island. Okay, um, and that's going to be the placement of our actions. Now let's go to our resolution. Okay, resolving our actions, not going to be too difficult. We're going to have to spend a couple, you know what I'm going to do? 
Now we'll go to it. So first off, Alexander, he's going to do a rest action. Let's go to the bowl. Okay, let's hope he gets a high number because we could use some energy for our island romping this turn. Two? No, that's not that's not good, but it's not bad either because he gets three. He was already at two, so that puts him up to five. Okay, uh, then um, what I'm going to do, yeah, okay, then we're going to take Anne's next action. She's going to the camp to fish. Okay, so you can see that she is up here. She's going to go to this spot. Now, because she's a fisher, she gets to take two, so that's good. There's two fish, and we get another one, zero, which is historically how we do things. So we have, at this point, just enough food to eat. Now the doctor is going to come off and do his rest action, so let's go do that to the bowl and do that. At least we're keeping up on the food. Let's see, does he get it? Ah, oh, four! Awesome! So he's going to go up three. That's going to put him at five, which is his current maximum. So that'll set us up to have a decent, well, theoretically, decent trip across the island this turn. Okay, next up, we're going to explore our wonderful island. Now, uh, the person that initiated this is, is Alexander Selkirk, so he's going to draw our first island card. And we didn't move. What do you know? We didn't move. Okay, uh, there were birds as well, birds with tasty meat but difficult to catch. Each explorer with a firearm, none, may choose to spend one ammo uh, with the three or more you get to take. Uh, okay, useless card because we don't have a gun. Okay, wait, do we have a gun? No, we do not. Okay, uh, that was now the doctor's drawing his card, and look, it's our aftershock card, unfortunately, but we do get to, oh, I'm not, wrong one, we do get to move up the trail. Okay, um, now the ground shook again, not as violent as, as the not in, not as violently this time. Take card thirty one and eighty three without looking at them. Add one to the heart of the island, and remove the other from the game. Okay, all players roll a uh, die. Uh, if someone rolls three or more, okay. Well, here's what we're going to do with that. So we'll get the cards out next. But we got the bowl in front of us, so we need to roll. So first, this was the doctor's draw. He rolls uh, higher, so he does not lose an energy. Uh, Anne rolls a four. She does not lose an energy either. And Alexander rolls a three. So if someone rolls a three or lower, so he does lose an energy from the tremors and goes down to four. Okay, now we're going to find these two cards and randomly pick them. So it's going to be card cards 31 and 83. Why they separated them by a million numbers, I don't know. Um, I'll do that off camera. Okay, so this is kind of funny. I just have to share this with you. These are the two things that this little tremor caused, either a tsunami or a volcano. Either one, I'm sure, is bad. Hey, someone suggested to me. Now, I'm just going to randomize these somehow. I don't know. Let's see. Doing it behind my I don't know. I don't exactly remember which one is which. But anyway, what somebody said to do was instead of shuffling them every time, just place them on top, and when we get to that deck, make sure to give them a shuffle. So whichever card that is, it's there on top. That uh, We did move up the island one more. Now we're going to get to draw again. This is going to be Anne's card again. Let's see. Uh, a stranded cannon. Okay, let's pull this back. We found a ship's cannon among some, of, some craggy rocks. Nobody knows how it arrived there, but I was sure that it would be useful. If the explorers agree to pay one, to pay a total amount of energy of six, and they return immediately to the camp, place the cannon tile on any free space, space on the main board, and add card 82 to the camp. Okay, so here's the cannon. I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. Um, I don't know what the cannon does for us, to be completely honest. So do we want to cut our exploration short this turn? We're, we're, how many cards do we have left? Look, we only got a few turns left. I'm kind of nervous about that. But I'm going to have to think that's going to be worth it. So we need to find card 80, yeah, 82. So let's do that and see what card 82 is. Um, you know, it might be worth it. The cannon. Okay, I found it. So I'm going to come back to you and show you what it is. It says... Discard a barrel of gunpowder in order to use the cannon as one of the falling objects. Mirror, captain's log, or spyglass. So this helps us get off the island. You know, I think that's worth it. So I'm going to take the cannon and put it on the board. You'll see where that is. It's going to be right next to our shelter. And I'm going to place the cannon in the camp because we also do have the barrel of gunpowder. 
I think that's got to be worth it. And then we're going to go back to camp and finish up our turn. Okay, so that means everybody's pawn comes off. I mean, at least we got some useful out of that, right? 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 Okay. Um, and all the pawns have come off. We've done all of our actions. So now we're going to have to eat. We're going to take these two. We're just going to. I'm just going to chuck this. They both ate. Um, Alexander ate his precious food that he scavenged. That means all three of them get an energy back. And the only one that benefits from that is Alex. He's at five. Oh, we had to spend six energy. So let's say for the cannon. So let's say everybody spent two. So he's at. Alex is now at. What would you have been? Four, three, two. So he went up. Um, one, yeah, okay. So five and four. So I'm just adjusting the energy for the sh the um, eating. And now the campfire, which we would have had to burn another wood, which we will. Um, we're going to have to get some more wood, too. So in doing that, we also get another energy. So that puts the doctor back up to five, Alex back up to six, and I'm sorry, Anne back up to six, and Alex back up to four. So they have some energy, and that's that. Now, um, I do want to deal with Charlie Bernard's trauma. Being a doctor, he can affect attempt with a five or six to remove that trauma card. He does not, so he still has the trauma on him this turn. I said I'd get an extra roll because I didn't do it last time. A six. Okay, so he does remove his trauma. And now we get to, because we had that sprain, that, that uh, wound thing on the event card, but it really didn't do any good or hurt us this turn. And it just says, injury turns into trauma, and no one had an injury. So let's go back to the board now and wrap up the end of our turn. Okay, well, the only thing that really happens next is the first player marker goes back to the doctor, and he gets the camp action for the turn, and that basically wraps everything up. We are good so far. We do have our cannon in stock, and we got a decent amount of energy. I think Alex might rest once, and then maybe probably going to explore again, because that's the only way we're going to win. So uh, let's do that and uh, get on to our, our, now our last turn. We're back to the doctor, so once we finish the doctor's turn, that's going to end this session. What, of course, we have to draw our first event card. And pow! Well... I want, I want to be alone. Okay, her doctor. So, this uh, goes down one. Um, we are not going to have any salvage wash up on the beach. And look, he's looking all very lonely in his cave. It says, the starting player, which is the doctor, is stuck by, struck by a wave of melancholy. He can't play an action which is already being performed by another player. That means no exploration. And if he starts one, he goes by himself. Okay, so kind of hurts our turn there but it, that is what it is so you know we are kind of we're not even close to getting up to the top of the island guys we're, we're hurting okay um, so we do have to explore this turn I just hope that the doctor doesn't be greedy and decide to do that but the first thing we have to do is take his camp action okay well what does he want to do huh 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 Okay, he's going to get some food because we all need food. So the doctor gets a piece of food from there. That's kind of what seems wasteful, but that's the best option he's got right now. And then we're going to go back to the board and take our main actions. So the doctor says, yeah, I'm going to rest. Why not? I can get that extra. Well, that's wasteful for him. Totally wasteful. Uh, he's going to gather wood. So that's going to cost him an energy down to four. And then... Uh, and Ann says, well, I can't get a wood with you, dude. Why'd you do that? Huh, what do I do now? Well, she's full of energy. Uh, so she's going to start building the help. I don't want to use our wood yet. Well, we're going to have some extra wood, but it needs eight. Or how we, we can keep getting wood, but that's going to be rough. Well, it's easier than, the, than this, because one energy plus one wood, this is just one energy. Okay. Let's start it. Let's start this one. All right, um, and then Alexander Selkirk says, okay, you start that one, I'll start this one. Oh, okay, works for me. Doctor says, well, I can't join you guys there, and I'm not building our shelter. It costs five energy. I don't have five energy. And a sail, and a rope. Well, we can build it. Anne could have built that, but she couldn't have gone exploring then. So he says, I'm going to write my diary, punks. Or maybe by that point, he's down a couple points of energy. 
Maybe he'll just rest. No, he's going to write in his write in diary. Okay, he's not uh, that nice a guy to these people. Now, um, Anne says, "Fine, I'm going to start a exploration." That puts her down at five. He joins her. That would put him down at four, but he's got his machete, so he does not do that. You don't pay the required costs, and Anne doesn't chooses not to take advantage of the fact that he uh, can recover that energy for. Her. That ends all of our action placement. So now. Um, Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We do not have enough food to eat, and not eating is bad. So I'm going to take it back. She's going to do a camp action. That's going to be her. F so she's going to go first with the fishing thing. So anyway, let's do that. So now we're going to wrap around and take our actions. There's no lost survivors, so she's going to take a fish action, and we gain one food. It would be nice if we could get a little bit of head, and two food. So we got three food we can eat this turn. That's awesome. Um, next up, he takes some wood. Now remember we still have one piece of wood on our tree. So the tree is empty now, but we have four wood in our pile, which means we can keep our fire going. I'm going to put one on the fire right now. Okay, then next up, the doctor writes in his, writes in his, uh, I think I've got to look up and see how many story. I think it's just one, but um, on that action, but he's going to get some story points. So writing in diary, take one story token. So I'm going to go through these and take one. Here it is. Uh, he's got his first, well, he's got a story a story token now. Um, and then we're going to go to uh, Alex. He started to build the bonfire, so we put that there. He's going to burn two of our wood and two energy. Puts them down to two. Uh, and that's, um, I'm going to put them, actually I'm going to put them right here. So there's two wood built on that right now. And now we're going to take our last two guys and go exploring. Okay, well this is history, so we're going to just put that right there. And it is uh, Anne that initiated this, so she's going to take the first card. I feel weak. Sometimes I'm overcome by fatigue. I feel I could not take one more step. Roll a d6. Oh, great. Okay, let's go to the dice bowl. Now this is looking more and more bleak as we go along. Uh, we're not going to win, I don't think. Anyway, let's roll for her, see what she gets. Uh, she rolled a 4, so she loses 1 energy. And then... Um, Oh, this is just for her. Okay, just for her. So she lost one energy, and that's all that happens. Of course, note that we didn't move. So it's great. Okay, so she's down to four. That's okay. It's not that terrible. Now Alex pulls his card, and we're not moving again, but we have a dangerous shortcut. We found a shortcut to the, to the headlands. It was a dangerous patch that ran through a stream flowing down the mountain. Explorers decide whether to take the shortcut. If they do so, each explorer advances one space in the exploration track, Loses one energy and must roll a die. On one, we have an accident. We receive two injuries and one story point. On a two, we receive one injury. This card can be played twice. Okay, so we're going to do that now because we want to move. And it doesn't hurt us. Oh, well, it could hurt us. And then we're going to go roll some dice. So basically, each of them loses a point of energy. Alex is down to one right now. But that moves... Alex and her up one more on the track there. Now we're going to roll some dice. Since we're on the island, we'll just do it here. So um, that was, uh, who got that? So the, the feel weak was Anne. So, okay, this was Alex's card. So he's going to roll first. He rolls a six. He's fine. Okay, Anne rolls a six. She's fine too. So we did not suffer from the shortcut. Uh, and, but we're not going to, I don't think we're going to be able to do it again, so we're going to leave it out here. I'll put one of these markers on it just to show that it was used once. And now we're going to continue on and hopefully have some decent luck. Well, we do actually, except it's our th monkey thief. So this goes up one, and we get to advance another one up there. So we're one away from getting to the deep part of the island. Now we've got to read our card. As we advance through the jungle, our supply started to disappear. The explorers bring any food. Nope. With any food with them, the monkey steals one from a random explorer. If you want to follow the monkey, roll a die. Okay. Uh, a random explorer stumbles and receives an injury. The monkey runs away. Ba 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 ba. Okay. You manage to scare him. Divide amongst the group to food. Okay. So we don't have any food. So it doesn't say what to happen. It says if the explorers bring any food with them, the monkey steals one food from the from a random explorer. If you want to follow the monkey, so does he not? steal the food? In other words, can we not follow him because of that? We didn't have any food to steal, so he doesn't come up and steal it from us. The two people on the trip don't have food. 
I'm going to take it that way. I don't think we do anything, so I don't think we're allowed to fall on But even though there was a benefit to following him, I don't think we can because he didn't steal any food from us. Okay, so that was uh, Anne's. Now we're going to move on to Alex again. Um, offerings. Okay, this is going to be a bunch of things. So this is going to go up to seven. We are going to go here, so we're getting quite a bit ahead of the doctor. It says, uh, we found a basket full of fruit on what looked like an altar. Explorers may leave the fruit on the altar, add card 23, pending to pending explorations. Pending explorations. I guess that's the same deck. Okay. Uh, take some fruit. Explorers receive a number of food equal to the number of explorers, minus one. So that's just one. Take the fruit and the basket. Each explorer receives one food and add one to the storage area and put 39 into the heart of the island. Okay. And by the way, we're going to get a story point as well. I think, man, if we take the food in the basket, <laughs> each explorer receives the food, not minus one. And we get to add a, a forge tile. So I think we're going to do that. So um, they took everything. So Ann took a food, Alex took a food, and then we get to add one tile to the forge box up on top. And now we get, we're going to have food enough for the next turn as well. Okay, um, now let me think of let me think one more thing through, and I'll be right back. That's what I thought. So this was Anne's card, so she gets to draw a story point. I wanted to make sure it wasn't for one or both of them. There's her story point. She's got two of them now, and then we're going to do something else. If we took everything, we had card 39 to the heart of the island. So, card 39. Let's see. Card 39 is in, enraged natives. Of course, yeah, we're going to enrage the natives by taking their offering and their basket too. I bet you they were mostly pissed off, well apparently so, by their basket being taken because uh, they weren't that upset by us just taking a food. Um, anyway, that goes on the, the heart of the island, so that is on top of that. We'll, look, we'll shuffle that later. Um, do we go on? We're at a, a seven now, but that's a minus one because of Anne's compass. We're one away from going to the heart of the island. Let's try one more time. Uh, no, but it says the, the highest tree I could see, let me make sure you can read that, okay, I could see a great part of the jungle under my feet. If you pay two energy, you may look at the next two cards of this deck. Place one of them back on top and the other on the bottom. But we're not moving. That goes up one. Yeah, Anne will pay two energy to do that. Oh, wait, it's got to be Alex, doesn't it? That was Alex's card. No, that was... Yeah... Okay, yeah, it doesn't say, yeah, I guess she can pay it. Two points to look at the top, two cards, and put one on the top and one on the bottom. So these are our top, oops, top two cards here. Let's see, we got, where are we? Okay, that's just bad. And the weather gets worse. Each explorer loses one, so both these result in losing one energy, but this one makes it, the, yeah, okay, so we're going to put this one on top. And neither of them give us a f movement, though. We're going to put this one on bottom, and then we're going to uh, declare to go back to camp together, because we don't want to keep going. Okay, that ends that. So let's go back and roll to go back to camp. We need a uh, seven, or better right now. Well, we did a little better, but we didn't move far enough. Anyway, let's roll see if we get... We need a seven or better. Ah, oh, just made it. Okay, great. Um, we made it back to camp without any problems, so let's go wrap up our camp actions and get it all done. Okay, so these come off. We did our exploration. They go back. Now, we're going to go to our end phase. Everything's been done for the turn. So, we turn these three delicious fish into perishable food and everybody eats one. So, they're going to keep a hold of their extra food so we can lock it down for next turn. Uh, which gives them each an energy. So, the doctor's at five, Anne's at two, and Alex is at two. And then our fire is lit. I'm going to remove this wood piece from there. That makes puts... Um, and at three, Alex at three, and the doctor at six. And that is going, okay, injuries. Oh, he's already got, he got rid of his trauma, so we're okay there. Nothing else to check. That's going to end our turn. Um, thanks for watching, guys. That's our, our session for this time. I think we're getting pretty close to the end. We don't have many cards left to go. Uh, but thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you soon. A uh, special deal, I, I'm, I'm about to cross, I think it's 700 subscribers, which is very cool, and um, so I'm going to run a contest, and I'll probably do a separate little video of that, but I'm going to give something away. I'm not sure what yet. i got to look at my 
shelves of stuff and see what might entice people and what might be enjoyable. But I'm going to give something away. So I'm just going to say this now. If you are a subscriber between now and the time I do a drawing for something, you will be included in the possible winners. So let's keep that in mind, and uh, I'm going to make, I'll put that in the front of some other videos as well. So spread the word, please. I would like to get as many subscribers as possible, and uh, would appreciate your help with that. And for that, I will enter you in a drawing to get something. So thanks, and have a great day.